the Missouri National Guard one-on-one. -on -one. Missouri National Guard, always ready, always there. He's the SEC Offensive Lineman of the Week, Justin Britt, part of a Mizzou offensive line that helped pave the way for 339 rushing yards against the Tennessee Volunteers. And uh, Justin, first of all, what does it mean to you to be a SEC Offensive Lineman of the Week? Well, you know, I think any of our linemen could have gotten it. Uh, it's just really great that uh, our offensive line are getting the recognition that we, uh, I think, is well deserved. Um, you know, we've been working hard all year and uh, it's finally paying off. I told Coach Pinkle when I talked to him, I figured you guys would kind of accept that as a team honor. Is that how you guys feel, the, the, the tight-knit group that you have? Yeah, you know, I was talking to Mitch earlier and I was like, hey, are you going to get it next, you know? I'm ready to see which lineman will get it next. You know, we, any of us can get it each week. You know, we all play hard and work our butts off. So I'm excited to see what happens from here on out. It's been documented that, that health is, is obviously a big reason why uh, this line is playing so well. But, you know, that's, that's been discussed before. What is it about this offensive line and, and maybe the way you're playing or the way you're playing together that has allowed you to be so dominant this year? Uh, our chemistry, you know, our cohesion, if you must. Uh, you know, we're just playing as a family, you know, brothers, uh, you know, we're just going out there having fun, you know, not worrying about the little things. Uh, you know, you'll make a mistake here and there. We know that we accept that. Uh, but we just go out there and play the best we can and uh, make holes for the running backs and protect the passer. Seems like uh, a, an awful lot of similar personalities uh, in, in a group that has some interesting personalities. Is that accurate? Yeah, yeah, we're all crazy in our own way. You know, we all have a different life story, but at the end of the day, you know, we're all doing it for each other, and that's what makes it special. I kind of remember talking to Coach Henson a, a year ago and, and him going into the first year in the SEC being adamant that this is a good group. This is a group that has good technique. They've all got the size that's necessary. They just need to put it together. And, and how gratifying is it to bring a lot of the same guys back healthy and, and put that into practice and, and be off to such a great start that this team is off to? Um, you know, this offseason, you know, we saw it happening. You know, we saw guys working their butts off in the weight room. Uh, you know, I saw the dedication in all the linemen's eyes, you know, the front five and then the second string and they're on uh, down. Uh, but no, we worked hard, you know, I'm glad that I was able to come back uh, healthy my senior year and play with the guys that I'm playing with, uh, you know, and we're all just excited for the opportunity that we have. Is there a story behind all the facial hair? It's, it's, all, it's pretty unique across the board, isn't it? No, it was kind of a group decision. Uh, we were going to grow our hair and our beards out. Uh, some people are getting more tired of it than others, this guy. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the season is coming down. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to cut it off, but I'm afraid what my hair might look like short. I feel like I've lost some throughout the season. At what point does it end? Is there like a, we've got to keep going until X point? Well, I don't think my hair has grown since week two, so um, no, you know, uh, national championship, you know, that's our goal, and we won't think about anything else but that. So after we're done with that game, uh, you know, you're free to chop it off, but until then, you don't touch it. Well, we'll hopefully that'll keep going, and uh, Justin, we appreciate your time. Good luck this week against Kentucky. That's Thank Justin Britt. He's the reigning SEC Offensive Lineman of the Week, and you can see him and his offensive line teammates Saturday at 11 a.m. when the Tigers take on the Kentucky Wildcats.